Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Um, let me say that I am informed here by the planning that my state has to do for a change in our map as sea levels rise against our shores and um, we will lose a lot of coastal property and face very significant economic damage specifically related to fossil fuel emissions. So from that background, let me say that I completely reject the arguments that I'm hearing from the other side that it's okay to not meet climate goals or that the oil industry is not responsible for gas prices or that oil and gas can ever achieve energy independence or that cheap and abundant pollution is ever a good thing. I reject all of those propositions completely and I also reject the proposition that the fossil fuel industry shouldn't change, the map of my state should change. So we come from very different perspectives in this regard. And from that perspective, as I understand it, with respect to carbon emissions point sources, 15 months into the administration, EPA has no rule for power plants, either coal or gas. Is that correct? We have, uh, we are looking at a uh, proposed rule for gas and we are working on or working towards a proposal for... Yeah, so no uh, rule. Yes. Well, we have this Supreme Court decision that we are also keeping an eye on. We want to be sure that the rule that we design will fall within where the Supreme Court will land so that we will be, in, be within the realm. Will of the you law. be ready to go within a week or a month after that decision? Are you doing the preparatory work to have that kind of response? We're going to be ready to go as soon as the Supreme Court rules. We'll be ready I to go. I hope so. Um, with respect to methane emissions, as I understand it, it doesn't address venting and flaring, which are the two most um, frequent manners of emission, and that I guess you're in the process of try, trying to improve the methane reporting, but do you concede that for years what EPA took as methane emissions and leakage reporting has been dramatically underreported? I concede that uh, we believe that um, emissions have been underreported. I also recognize that we proposed the rule and we've taken significant comments. Senator, we received over 500,000 comments on that proposed methane rule that covers a lot of issues that we're taking very careful thought with. And by the way, yeah. I have to say that those, those- I don't want my state to sink th those while you're being careful. So forgive me for being a little bit impatient here. Chemical plants, do you have any rule for point source carbon dioxide emissions from chemical plants? We do not have that yet, sir. How about refineries? Do you have any rule for point source emissions from refineries? We, we, are, we are working towards all of these stationary sources. How about cement plants, metal plants, paper mills? Any rule for any of them? We are taking a look at all of the sources of CO2 and looking at what authorities we have in the Clean Air Act to act on them. With respect to mobile sources, is it, is it fair to say that your cars and light trucks rule is essentially a return to the Obama era rule? No, it's not. Uh, okay, we'll follow up on that. Is it fair to say that your heavy duty trucks and buses rule is weaker than California's and does not require increased zero emission it's fair trucks to say and buses? That we have proposed step one but there, is, there are multiple steps to how we regulate heavy-duty vehicles, and there'll be multiple steps as to how we regulate light-duty vehicles. And you have no rule regarding aircraft emissions? We Correct. have no new rules for aircraft emissions. Mission. How long do you think you have? Well, Senator, I, I think we have to be honest about the state that the EPA found itself in when President Biden was elected. I think we have to look at the level of resources that the agency currently has. We did not get the resources we requested for 2022, and we're making a significant ask for resources for this year. I can say that uh, since I've been there for the past year, uh, we've got staff working nights and weekends. We're, we're playing catch up, we're digging out from under court cases, and I'm really proud of the record that we have when you look at the, the rules that we have proposed and finalized 
within the first year of the Biden administration. Uh, I know we can't dig ourselves out of this hole overnight, but what I can say is when you look at the HFC's rule, when you look at the proposed methane rule, which the proposed methane rule is the most stringent rule ever proposed for oil and gas, looking at both new and existing, when you look at the rule that we finalized for light duty vehicles, the proposed rule for heavy duty vehicles, when you look at the suite of options that we're considering to bring the power plant sector in line, I am damn proud of what this agency has done over the past year with the resources that we have. The problem is that in an emergency, effort doesn't count, results count. That's the problem. Thank you.